Hey guys, and welcome to Words at Scale. So, my Discord community had brought to my attention a very peculiar, a very innovative AI copywriter by the name of Zim Writer, created by Matt Zimmerman. And I was first hesitant to review it since there are so many AI copywriters out there. But the more I looked into it, the more I the more I started to realize that it is a tool worth mentioning. And I'm not affiliated with the tool. There will be no affiliate links down below. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, you have to go to the rankingtactics.com and get it for a small fee. But I will talk about that later. So first of all, uh, this tool works on Windows only. Bummer, I know, but it is well worth it. And when we are talking about copywriters, when we are contemplating buying different tools, there are th certain things that come to mind. So we need to be aware of the pricing and prices because many copywriters are very expensive. We are often talking about originality and plagiarism. So this has to be taken into consideration. And we also strive for better and better SEO scores. And we always want to shortcut, find a workflow in a way to SEO optimize our articles as fast as possible. And I'm here to tell you that this tool does it all. So let's start with the pricing. And the pricing, you can ignore the monthly and just go straight to the lifetime deal. So the lifetime deal is 197, a one time payment. So you pay 197, then you can connect your account to OpenAI. You deposit like 50 bucks and then you're good to go. Just for reference sake, uh, I wrote a 5,000 word article and it cost me 30 cents. This is just how inexpensive this is when you are connecting in this system to the source. So there are no overheads. So you, you are not paying markups to the guys with the big brand, brand names. And uh, this takes some work. It's fairly easy to do, but it's just not as plug and play as some other tools. But again, it's w well worth it, especially if you're a price sensitive. So this is about the pricing. And so a few features that in Zimmer, Zim Writer includes are magic commands. So this is similar to how Jasper operates. You can uh, one click generate your articles and I will show you that. You can SEO optimize your articles and this is extremely easy. This is one of the easiest processes that I have come across and you can bulk generate. And the word that I'm going after is, is my car totaled if the frame is bent? And this is not a very high competition keyword, but it is a in a very, very high competition um, niche, which is bordering personal injury lawyers and whatnot. So I have just imported all the H2s from the surfer. So let's get, go through them. Uh, I'll use the original title. We can fix this later. Okay, so this is not a big topic, not a huge topic. So we'll work with these H2s and I will copy them over and I'll show you why in a second. But now I will go to my Zimrider. So since I'm working on Mac, I had to install the virtual machine, but that's okay. So you have a couple of options. Uh, Zimrider works in every notebook or notepad that you can imagine. So uh, it just works like Jasper. So if you want to play around and uh, become a prompt engineer and whatnot, you can just open the notepad and ask something along the lines of how to explain God to a child. I don't know why I've chosen this topic. And then you just press Control-1. OK. And this is what we got back. And you can play around with it. You can press Control to to continue from the last sentence. And this way you get a big paragraph. You can highlight it all and press Control 3. And this way Zimwriter will rewrite the whole thing. And yeah, you can use it for various purposes and you can basically use it like Jasper Chat somewhat. Okay, but let's go to the actual software. And here you have a few choices. I will just go to SEO Block Writer. First of all, you have a few options on how to come up with your titles. And let me use the notepads to actually copy over the titles. 
these are the titles. So we need the title first, obviously. And then you have a few options. You can populate these H2s manually. You can try and ask AI to come up with the outline by itself. And we'll just I'll show you this method here. And we'll populate these empty boxes. This is perfect. Or method number three, you can insert your headings here. We'll exclude the H1. We'll click try method number three. And the AI will again auto populate the H2s and it will add some more H2s, uh, 15 in total. So if you have less than 15, it is likely to add to your selection as well. So we got the Surfer SEO suggestions and the Zimrider AI suggestions. If we go back to Surfer SEO and we go to words and we have, we can download all the guidelines as txt. These are our words, important terms. And unfortunately, if you guys know, please be my guest, but unfortunately there is no easy way to clean up that list. So I'll go to ChatGPT and ask to generate a list of keywords based on the below getting read of numbers and special characters. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and this is the easiest way I found to clean up the Surfer SEO list of keywords. It ended with the original position and here, yeah. So these are our keywords. Let's include the I. Mm -hmm. And then what we will do, we will go back to ZimWriter and we will insert all these keywords here, which is the SEO keywords optional. And so this is the first part of the story. This pertains to the SEO optimization, but there is another beautiful side to ZimWriter, which is all the things here, which uh, in turn affect the originality scores. So I will uh, stick to the medium section length. Uh, and now I can choose different uh, voices. The very personal will use lots of use and eyes. Personal uh, is going <laughs> to use less of those and professional will not use them. And we want something in between. So I'll use personal. I will click enable FAQs. I will click enable literary devices. And so this is the prompt that I used for ChatGPT with a huge success. It doesn't work again all, all the time, but it works very often. Then what I love about the ZimWriter is this Enable Tease feature, which is basically uh, the AI ending each paragraph, teasing the next one. So it will conclude one of these H2s. It will say something we've just talked about the... Uh, what fixing the frame damage is worth, but it is very important to blah, blah, blah. So stay put. So it will basically tease the next section in the uh, end of the previous section, which is, um, which affects readability and just flows much better. Then you can choose different audience personalities and you can read up on them. Let's just choose the sage or the ruler and we can even write in a style of uh, such and such but i will leave it as is so to sum up we've just imported the h2s from surfer seo we allowed zimwriter to auto populate and add additional suggestions we again imported the list of the lsi keywords straight from the surfer seo we enabled uh, literary devices, FAQs, and the T's feature. We are using the personal tone of voice and the audience, person audience uh, personality as ruler. And yeah, let's hit start as your writer. And Zim writer is not, and will tell you that, okay, I'm ready. 
and Zimwriter is not the fastest AI copywriter. And I will just pause the video and return to you when this is done. So, okay, uh, six minutes have passed. And uh, as you can see, the article is almost 5,000 words and we spent 26 <laughs> cents on it. And this is how uh, many tokens it took. Uh, one of the things that I haven't figured out yet is how to make it into the HTML schema. And uh, the uh, Matt, Matt's um, content and YouTube channel is very active. So again, Ranking Tactics by Matt Zimmerman. And he addresses this issue in one of his uh, video tutorials, tutorials, but I forgot how he did that. So I will just grab the text and I will insert it straight to, into the Surfer SEO and I will format it here which is not ideal, but again, if you watch his videos, you should be able to fix that. So I'm done formatting the article. So here's my H1, H2s. We have an FAQ section in the end, this one here. We have our conclusion and <laughs> already we are at 71. So the top result is 73. So it's, it only, it's only going to take us a few little fixes burnt or damaged frame. So what does it mean if you if you have a burnt or damaged frame? And yeah. <laughs> so we only uh, included one just one additional keyword and we are already at 74. So we will stop optimizing. It took like 10 seconds at the most to get a highly optimized SEO article, which is 5,000 words. And this is pretty amazing. And so for the final test, let's check the originality score and let's see what those literary devices, tones of voices and stuff like that are doing. So we are at 71% original. And this is one of the lowest scores that I got with this too, but still 71% original is plenty in my opinion. I wanted to show you what the T's means. So for example, this section is what is a banned car frame. And the next one is how does frame damage occur? So this paragraph ends with the next step after understanding this concept is learning about how frame damage occurs in order to prevent future issues down the road. And this is a nice lead into the next paragraph and this how T's works. And this is it, guys. I am pretty amazed with the results. As you can say that I'm using the wrong originality detector, AI detector, guys, just relax. Every AI detector has its own algo and it may show an amazing result for one niche and awful for another. And Google time and time again said that it does not matter. What matters is helpful content. And this is it. Again, you can grab these for $197. You will have to connect your OpenAI account to uh, use the tokens and credits. But other than that, I think this is a very neat addition to your AI tools. And I, I'm using the ZimWriter uh, myself, so I can fully recommend this software. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share, and I'll see you next time.